Hey guys, Harold Osmer, West Hills Wood, beginning woodworker stuff. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about things you do not need as a beginning woodworker. Now, most of your projects as a beginner should be small because you're learning the techniques, you're learning to manipulate the wood, you're learning how to deal with splinters along the way, right, before you get into something really big. Um, the well-equipped shop like this one, we've got a joiner, a planer, a lathe, we have two table saws, three bands, so, you know, we got just stuff all over the place. And a lot of times, it being a, more or less a hobby shop like we have here, a lot of these just sit idle. You know, we use them from time to time, they're real helpful for different things. It's not something that a beginner needs. So you don't have to go out and spend $300 for one of these, or $200 for one of those, that, that kind of thing. You just don't need to do that yet. Um, once you get a little more familiar with what you're doing and you start getting a little more exotic in your woodworking, um, then it becomes pretty handy to, to step up, you know, but you'll recognize that when you get to that point. Um, hand tools work really well. We did another video earlier of uh, using a chop saw, a power chop saw, as opposed to just a handheld miter thing. And the reason the power comes in handy is if you're going to make, say, 10 boxes, you know, doing this a lot of times, you know, that's uh, four corners, that's eight pieces you got to cut, that's 80 times you got to do, holy cow, you know, that just adds up. That just wears you out. And it makes you not be doing woodworking because all you're doing is cutting wood. Um, if you get a power tool, all of a sudden that procedure gets pretty quick. Uh, you do have to be very careful when you're using power tools, of course. I said, but, you know, you can figure it out. It's not that hard. Um, a joiner is handy. For doing different things, a planer will do it as well. I said, and a lathe, of course, makes things round. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, one of the second tools that someone will get might be a, a table saw. Um, you can get a nice contractor type small table saw. It'll do a lot of work for you. Um, but you get to decide that when you have the space and when you have the capacity to make noise and dust. Doing this sort of thing on your kitchen table or doing it on a little cheesy folding table, hmm, you might want to be pretty careful about that because you're just going to run into some trouble. But I get a lot of guys come in here and say, yeah, I want to set up a shop in my house, in my garage, boy, it'd be great. I'm wondering about, he said, well, you know what? Step back, ask yourself what kind of projects you want to make. Do you want to make a nice dresser, say, eventually? Well, table saw is going to come in handy. I said, band saw, maybe. A lathe, doesn't really have much to do <laughs> with making a dresser. On the other hand, if you want to make a bunch of bowl type projects, a lathe is the way to go. So you have to decide first, what is it you want to make? And then second, how do you make projects that will lead you up to that? I suggest you go look at your home center and talk to those guys about uh, table saws and, and planers, joiners, that kind of thing. They're going to know some stuff about it. The more um, knowledgeable places will be something like Woodcraft or Rockler. Those guys will know a lot more about the tools. They have demonstration things, they have classes that go on there. You can learn quite a lot doing that. And then from that, from watching those guys and asking all those questions, you can decide for yourself if it's time and if you need one of these tools. That's the best way to go about it. Um, again, it all comes back to what is it you ultimately want to build. And while you're over at the Rockler or Woodcraft, ask them. Hey, what kind of kits do you guys have? What kind of things can I get started with to make to make a nice project? They've got jewelry box things, they have pen kits, they have things like this that'll just get you started, get you moving, and get you excited. And that's what it's really all about. All right, so take a look at those guys and check it out. This is Harold Osmer, West Hills Wood. Don't buy stuff unless you need.